Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine. Recently I shared this book called Teaching Mathematics in Rudolf Steiner Schools and if you want to check out the video it's linked above and below. So I got some questions after this video whether or not this would make a good reference material even if you're not using a Waldorf curriculum and so I thought that I would share with you this book which is the Osborne Illustrated Dictionary of Math and I think that this would probably make a better reference material material. It has just about everything you need to know about math, a lot of illustrations and examples. It goes into each concept. Now the main difference between, well actually there are a lot of differences, but one of the differences between this book versus this book is that this book is geared towards Waldorf education. It goes through the development of the child. It has specific examples that would relate to a Waldorf curriculum, whereas this one has everything to do about math. I don't know that it's any it's in any particular order. I think it's just all the math concepts and so this wouldn't be suitable to use if you wanted to write your own curriculum from scratch. This would be great if you wanted to add to an existing curriculum or if you as a teacher or a homeschool teacher needed some just refreshers, you know, a refresher course on some of these math concepts that you would be teaching your child, then this, this would be a really great resource to have. Now, so far, the way that we've used this is mostly for things that I wanted to clarify or double check before I taught it to my children, or if there were sections that I wanted the kids to copy out, you know, they, they could use the book because it has really great definitions and examples. So this book, I think, would be a really great reference material for you to have on hand. I think that it would complement any math curriculum. I think it's great for you, for you as a teacher or as a parent or a homeschooler to have on hand if you need to refresh yourself with some of these math concepts that maybe you forgot. I know that we know a lot, but when it comes to teaching, it's nice to have something to refer to to help us out with maybe uh, to explain it, uh, maybe just some background information or some examples, you know, that that's always helpful if if math is not something that you love or if if it's something that you forgot or you just want to if you just want to have this on hand in order for your children to be able to reference it while they're doing their math lessons. So there's a lot on geometry and trigonometry and algebra, but there are also some sections on basic arithmetic. Uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, there's decimals and there are fractions as well. Okay, so the link to this book is in the description box below if you want to check it out and if you want to catch up on some of the projects that we did when we did our geometry unit then you can click on the screen right here to see that playlist as well as the complete playlist on all of our math projects that we've done including our math games and other math resources you can check those out as well